All right, guys. So a little while back, we reviewed this battery from PUP VWMHB. Don't ask me why they named it that, but that's the name. And it has some really awesome specs, actually. First of all, it's a it's a mini style battery, so it's a smaller case. And then on the inside, it has a JBD BMS, and uh, it's Bluetooth, so it has a really awesome BMS. The cells have bolted bus bars. It's a really neat battery. Now, it wasn't perfect. There was definitely a few things that I, I didn't quite like. One of them is this BMS mounting. For one thing, it's it's only mounted with this double-sided you know, kind of tape. There is a fiber board in between. It seems like there's two pieces of double-sided tape with a fiber board sandwiched in between. And I feel like if you had enough bouncing jarring action this this BMS may come dislodged the other thing is is that this pad doesn't cover the whole BMS so these cells I feel like if it did come dislodged this might jam into the sides of the cells and penetrate this heat shrink wrap and maybe short out on the cells so I want to fix this issue and what I'm going to do is just cut up some more fiberboard and then cover the ends here with that. And then I want to put a piece of foam on the top of this so that it wedges between the lid and the BMS to hold it down so it can't go, it can't actually go anywhere. Other than that, this battery is actually a really good deal. And if you do have this battery, you sh probably can perform these modifications it wasn't very hard to open uh, basically to open you just need to get you a putty knife and wedge it start in the middle of one side and once you get it in here you're gonna have to use a hammer to kind of pound it in there and once you get it in there run it across all the way inside this way and then the other way and then do that on each side and it'll start to come loose and then you can kind of pound pound it off. If you're not comfortable modifying a battery, don't do it. If you are, do it at your own risk. All right, so we're just gonna cut a couple pieces of this. And if you don't have this fiberboard stuff, you can find other things. Uh, people have used those chopping block. They're like countertop little thin chopping sheets to protect your countertop if you're like chopping vegetables or something. Uh, those would work fine. All right, so there's one side, that was easy. And then there's the other side. We're, I'm just gonna glue this down with some silicone. Once that dries, that's going nowhere. Now we can just put this BMS back in place. There we go, perfect. Now I'm gonna find a piece of foam that I can put up here. And I've got this old foam from some old batteries that I tore apart. Uh, you might find some something else. I'm sure you could find something. I feel like that's probably the right thickness. Now this negative wire is going to kind of be in the way a little bit. So maybe we need to loosen this up and move it over. So this is basically how the, the battery should have been constructed. To make sure the cells are completely protected like that. And then this piece of foam to apply pressure onto the BMS to keep it from, you know, dislodging from the, the cells and then bouncing around inside the, the case. Let's see if the lid goes on. It, this might be too thick. If it is, we might have to trim it. No, it's not. It's actually perfect. It might actually be, because I don't feel any, 
Okay, there is a slight void I can fill, so I might make it a little bit thicker. Now, adding one more probably is too much. Let's see. Yeah, that's too much. All right, I ended up finding a piece of foam that came with a, a, a window unit AC. And I think this will work because it's, I mean, it's almost the same thickness as these, but it's, it's less dense. It'll actually compress down, whereas these won't as much. <laughs> and I ended up cutting that almost exactly the right size on accident. <laughs> All right, I think that's going to be it right there, guys. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. It gives a little bit of, you know, pressure, but not enough to make it hard to put the lid back on or anything like that. All right, and to glue the lid back on, I could use this silicone, or I could use this epoxy. I think I'm going to use the epoxy because I think this lid was already maybe epoxied. Yeah, I think it was epoxy that was holding it on. So I'm going to use that. Usually if it's silicone that was holding the lid on, I'll go back on with silicone. If it was an epoxy or something like that, I'll go back on with epoxy just so there's not some kind of incompatibility with the glue that's already left on. And I try to get as much glue off as possible. All right, so I'm just gonna mix up a little epoxy here. And I always use more epoxy than what you think you're gonna need because whenever I try to do this very sparingly, I end up not making enough. And I'll usually get like halfway through or three quarters of the way through and run out and have to quickly mix up another batch. And it's probably better to use like a piece of plastic or something <laughs> to mix it on because I bet this paper like absorb some of it all right so just scoop you know some up and then put it in there all right i think i pretty much did get it all the way around I just use these clamps just to really to hold it. You don't have to like super clamp it down. Now at this point, if you did get some runs or some leaking out, it's best just to go ahead and let it dry. <laughs> Cause if you try rubbing it off right now, you're just going to smear it. It's going to look horrible. When it dries, you can probably actually end up just peeling it off. So don't even, don't even mess with it. All right, so it's been several hours. We can go ahead and take these off. And just don't go lifting up the handles and, you know, trying to pick the battery up quite yet. You might, you're gonna wanna wait at least 24 hours. But if you remember what I said about letting these drips dry before you start to remove them, look at that. Just peels right off. You might wanna peel these off before it gets too hard because if it solidifies too hard it might be tough but yes uh, see that it's easy a lot of people's first instinct would be oh my god I've dripped this let's uh, <laughs> you know let's get it off immediately and that would be a big mistake because all you would do is just smear it Alright guys, so there's the video of how to fix what I think are problems with this PUP VWMHB battery. Um, other than that, it's a really cool battery and it's really cheap for what it is. You know, the BMS is just totally awesome. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of the video and I'll catch you on the next one.